Hello, welcome back to the woods and welcome back to another simple stick project. Yep, those ones you absolutely love. Now this one is a very, very simple stick project and it's one that's gonna help you out when you're cooking. Now when I'm in the woods, if I just wanna get a quick brew, what I tend to do is shove the water in my cooking pot or my metal mug and then I just put it in next to the fire and the heat plays against the side of the pot and eventually it brings the water to the boil. A nice, simple solution. But there are times when I want something that's a little bit more adjustable. I want to suspend my pot over the fire. And this simple stick project is a really easy, very, very simple way of doing it. In fact, whenever people see this, they just go, my oh God, that is just so, so simple. And I'm gonna share it with you. Now, there are lots of different ways of suspending a pot over a fire. Morse Kahansky very famously taught the Burton's Bilberry, a very nice, simple, adjustable cooking method where you carve notches in a stick and you have it on a, uh, a supporting frame. This one is even simpler and just as effective. And all you need for this one, well, it's three things. A longish straightish pole. It doesn't have to be your journey and stuff. It can be any longish straight stick. You're also gonna want a hooked peg, one with quite a decent sized hook on that end. And then finally, a log. Find them lying around all over the woods. So the first thing I need to do is work out where my big stick needs to be so that my pot is suspended over the fire. So probably about there. I'm then going to take my peg and I'm just going to push it in over the end of the stick. Now obviously your pot on the end of the stick creates quite a bit of weight so I want to make sure this is well tapped in and for this I can use a batten or I can use the back of my hatchet. So with the peg well hammered in the next thing I'm going to do is take my log and place it between the peg and the fire. Then all we do is we take our cooking pot and our stick, hook that on the end there. I pass the end of the stick underneath the peg, like so. And to get it to the right height, all I do is I just roll the log to where I want it. And what this gives us is loads of adjustability because if I want the pot to go closer to the fire to boil faster, all I do is lower it like so, just by rolling the log forward. If I'm cooking food and I want to take it up to a gentle simmer, then all I do is the reverse. I raise it by bringing the log back to make it higher. If I want it to go down again, we want to bring it up to the boil, make it boil faster. All we do is just roll it down like so. Quick, easy, effective, very simple, adjustable pot hanger. So there you go, another super simple stick project one you can use next time you're out in the woods and you're doing a spot of cooking because it gives you so much control 
over your pots, over the fire. And as I said, it's very, very simple. If you like this video, then remember, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to check me out on Instagram and Facebook, check in the links box underneath. There's loads of links in there. You can also check me out over on Patreon. You can also have a look at our Etsy shop. There's a whole load of stuff on there, including the little green craft woven badges. Get yourself one of those, show yourself support for the channel. They go out all over the world. There are also the mugs over there, as well as some of the pouches and other gear that I make. Little update on that, the food bar headbands are all made. I've just got to get the, pa uh, the pouches done to fit them in, and then they'll be released on the shop. Obviously, those guys who are patrons, uh, you will get the heads up first, as always. I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe in the woods.